40 mom coming back with a another um it's a stash video but it's also um going to be some plastic canvas books um again um kind of like part two of the plastic canvas um last week we went over the part one so this could be part two um this one is going only to include four books but there's a lot of stuff in this book so the first one we're going to look at is called Plastic Canvas Magazine, 25 en Enchanting Wintertime Projects. Now, if you saw my last video, you know that um, cross-stitchers can do these as well. You can cross-stitch on plastic canvas. They do make a 14 count plastic canvas. Um, this is for whimsical projects, um, functional projects. If you don't want to do the wall hangings, well these are some of wall hangings but if you don't want to do like the pillows and and like that or, or get anything framed these um stand on their own they make great christmas gifts or holiday gifts um a, like this one right here is a basket for christmas goodies um it's got kind of like that winter theme going on and then over here like a wreath with snowflakes with a welcome sign for your front door um, plastic canvas is more forgiving as far as like weather type stuff. Um, like if you were to make, um, garden sticks, um, for your vegetables or your flowers, if you wanted to, um, pull out some, I don't know if some of these have those or not. Hmm, that's an idea. Um, this is a, like a door pull. If I'm not mistaken, it's like a puppet. You pull the string, and the little arms and legs move up and down. It's functional. Um, I don't even know if they make this one anymore, but I like some of the ideas. There's a little, called a mini sampler. Um, they've done this in purples and greens, and then it looks like they do some variegated on the side. You can use floss with these if you have some old floss that you've been wanting to use up. Um... They give you, on the color key, um, let me show you what their color key looks like. For most plastic canvas, that's what your color key looks like. It tells you what color to use and how much to use. Um, you're going to use the continental stitch, which is the majority, and then there's some back stitching on this one. Um, most plastic canvas, or most needlepoint is done, because that's what this is, needlepoint, is done in continental stitch. Um, not just your normal tent stitch, which is up one side, down across, up underneath, down across. This is, like, backwards. Um, there are several videos out there on Continental Stitch. In fact, I think, um, Carolyn just recently did one. It gets better coverage. It covers the back as well. Um, and here's some more. Let's see, we have a candy bowl. A basket which is looks like it's a bigger version of the candy bowl we have a wreath and we have some coasters with a box really cool idea um, here's a nice little Christmas tissue box I'm gonna try to get out of the glare oh there we go my outlights lights kind of strong uh, let's see over here we have some jeweled looking dazzle boxes and they're telling you actually to use the Krennic metallic braid um like i said it, it, it gives you the numbers on these and they're as telling you about specific how many reels you're going to use you're going to use a lot uh, on the clinic and we shall be right back because my child is beckoning zoom in and out on you um <laughs> in fact i need to zoom back out my daughter came into the room and my fingers just went nuts on this new camera okay so yeah, we have that. Um, here is a sleigh bell. And it looks like a sleigh ride. And it looks like that inside the pine cones and stuff, they put little chocolate-covered pretzels. Crazy. This one you, um, is done on seven count, and you do have to use some craft glue. And again, it, it just tells you on this one, it just says worsted weight or yarn or plastic canvas yarn. And then just use the color key. That, it's very forgiving. Uh, light switch plate for two lights or one light and there is it's they're calling that the chalet I think that's just maybe for decoration from what I'm gathering and yes a, a mini marionette 
That's what I, <laughs> it's a marionette soldier. Uh, again, with the little, it tells you step by step on how to use the pull with the cords and everything. That's that's fun for the kids. Um, and here's a cute little little necklaces. There's a little kitty cat and a doggy and a bunny rabbit. And the bunny rabbit has carrots, dog bones for the dog, and little fishies for the kitty cats. A little necklace. Whoa! See how dated. Necklace and earrings. How cute. Very dated. Um, here is called Glimmer and Glow Elegant Double Frames and Glitzy Jewelry. So, looks like earrings and barrettes. I don't know if I'd ever wear needlepoint earrings, but to each his own, I suppose. I would do the barrettes, I think, for a child. Um, and then, oh, pins and earrings, I'm sorry. And then here are some frames. Then again with the Krennic. That's pretty nice. And this is called the Ohio Star. Um, a country quilt motif to hang on the wall. Oh, they're cute. They got the gingerbread man in there. But yeah, that's... Uh, I think that's it for that one. But this is November 11 magazine and the year... It's 1990. See? There you go. Like I said, this is, <laughs> this is stash. But it also gives you an idea of what you can do with plastic canvas. And it also can be converted, like I said, to cross stitch. This is a newer one. It's 19, oh, 1991. Uh, but it's got some really uh, colorful patterns in it that I would stitch today. Like this waterfall scene. And I believe I got this from my friend Pam. It's got 28 projects in it. Um, tropical birds, keepsake box, de desk mates, and pet snack jars. Look at that tissue holder. Isn't that cute? For anybody that does like aquatic type stitching, there's for your golfer. Uh, I can see it. I can see someone wearing that on the hat. Maybe not on the shoes, but that's really cool. And then here's a whole desk set for your... Um, plant and a picture and a little pencil caddy and little desk corners for your um, for your calendar. Let's see. Um, okay, and this is uh, what is this? Nope, that's for last year. Camper, sweet camper. There's a little door hanging to put on your camper. Um, I don't know where that came from. Just a little odd tag. This is called Majestic Tranquility. Uh, again, you could do this. It doesn't have to be on plastic canvas. This is done on 10 count mesh canvas in an 8 by 10 frame. Uh, a lot of long stitches on this one. Um, I don't see very many continental stitches. I think the majority of this is long stitch. And long stitch is just weave top to bottom. Uh, let's see, that one's pretty big. Okay, here are some birds. This is your tropical appeal. That's really nice. Get that out of the glare. Sorry. Let's see if I can block that. We've got a toucan and a parrot and a macaw. And I can't think of what this other... Oh, let's see. Toucan, macaw, cockatoo. This is a cockatoo. Nope. Yes. This is a cuckoo. And this is a cockatoo. Cuckoo, cockatoo, toucan, macaw. That is a rice bird. That is called a rice bird. Hmm. All right, and this is the desk mates. This is really nice. Um, you get the, let's see, a weekend bookend covers, bookend covers, pencil cup. Yeah. Okay. So there's that one. Um, let's see, working woman's week. Working Woman's Week. Monday wash, Tuesday iron, Wednesday cook, Thursday dust, Friday hire a maid. <laughs> to do the week's work for the next week. 
Uh, season's greetings. Here are a couple of cute little ideas for the tree. This is done on seven count. Um, and then, of course, you, you piece them together. Those are really cute. That one's got a little bear. You can put little gifts in it or little candies in it. That's a cute idea. There's that fish. Something fishy. I like that one. I might have to do that one for my bathroom because my bathroom is a lot of um, aquatic stuff. Maddie's bedroom does too. I, I might do one of those for her room, for her tissues. Um, here are... I'm going to have to watch those patterns. This camera picks up everything. For your pets. This is bird seed, dog bones, fish food, cat snacks. This is to put on top of jars. Those are cute ideas. Put you off to the side. Uh, okay, we have winning coasters. That's pretty. I like those. Um, there's a choo-choo train, and then there is a heart, a heart, a flower, and then here is a, a painter's palette. I like that. That's really nice. Um, these are people that won contests, but they did include the patterns in this particular magazine. And then here's some more. You've got a leaf, the USA. That's cute little roses. Um, looks like it's kind of like some black work. Can't see what they're calling that one. We've got a chess board or a chess piece, and then we've got like a, like a quilting sampler. Um, but anyway, so that's the Plastic Canvas by Leisure Arts. That is July 1991. I like that one. It's got very colorful. All right. This one is by the Needlecraft Shop. It's called Plastic Canvas Holiday. It has a lot of really good. It says, Celebrate your favorite holiday. Plastic canvas designs for tissue toppers, shelf sitters, coasters, and more. Again, like I said, you can cross stitch this, but again, this is, to me, plastic canvas and needlepoint is so much fun. And it's something to get the kids involved as well. Um, uh, I don't even think I've cracked the spine on this one. Uh, there's a Happy New Year's. And again, like I said, you can do this with cross stitch. Um, a New Year's banner and then little coasters. Beginner level. Here is a Hearts and Stripes mug and coaster set. The mug is, I have a whole bunch of those. You can get these blank mugs from, and I do this with cross stitch on plastic canvas as well on the 14 count. You can get these plastic, I mean, you could get these mugs um, from, I know Hobby Lobby carries them. I think Michaels carries them. I think they're a little bit more expensive. Um, they're between a dollar and two dollars. They also have the taller mugs. Uh, but what it is, is this, this white piece comes out. I'll show you one of mine um, when I get it out one day. Uh, I'll do a piece on it. And you pull this piece out. They usually come with, if you, if you buy the craft ones and not the cross stitch ones, they come with, uh, the, the craft ones come with a 14 count plastic canvas that's already pre-cut and round. But the ones that I got had paper inserts that you color. Take the paper insert out. You lay it on top of your material or whatever you're going to do. If you're going to use regular cross stitch fabric, you want to use a stiffener. Um, some type of fabric stiffener after you do your work. Um, you want to measure it out according to the papers that are inside um, and then you do your stitching on it all the way around. You can leave a little extra on the top and the bottom so you can cut around. But with the plastic canvas, you just cut the plastic canvas to shape like this all the way around. You stuff it in and it is sealed. Um, all you have to do to clean it is you just take the insert out you clean the insert, you dry it off, and you pop it back in. And you can change this around for the season. So, like, if you wanted to do um, mugs for, say, Christmas, you could do a Christmas theme. And everybody could have their own little mug, say, for coffee or cocoa with their dessert. And then, if you wanted to change it out and you wanted to do it again, um, say, for the 4th of July, you would pop out the insert, you would pop in a festive red, white, and blue, or whatever you're going to do for the 4th of July, or whatever your holiday is to celebrate your country, and you can reuse them for the different holidays. So, that's just a quick idea. Um, let's see, we have a shamrock, oops, for a shamrock pin. 
We have some Easter magnets. Um, there's a chocolate egg, decorative, get out of the light, sorry. Decorative chocolate egg. We have three different, well, no, that's another egg. That's just the same egg, different colors. Two Easter bunnies, not that one. <laughs> and a little Easter basket. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, we have a baby bunny basket. This one's very detailed. But again, like I said, these don't really take very long. And they're so much fun to piece together for the plastic canvas. Um, let's see, we have a bunny bookmark. That's really cool. And again, you can cross-stitch this on 14-count canvas. Um, here we have an Easter egg animals, whereas it's like little holders for the eggs after they've been colored, or maybe you want to present them on your table. Here is a devotional crow. There go my beads. Big bunny. I missed the big bunny. Here we go. A big bunny holiday holder. How cute is that? I like that. Look at the details. Again, the details on that. It's really good. I like that. I am so glad those beads did not open up. See, my beads... They fell over. I'm, I'm glad they <laughs> fell over with the lid still on it. Yay. Uh, here is a devotional cross. They will be done. Even the detail on the flowers. I don't know if you can. Let me see if I can get that in. You, if the color's not showing up very well because the sun's gone down. And I'm using my aunt light. And it's it's um, it's giving you pretty colors. But this is like a, a deep violet. And the greens are... The, the leaves attached to the violets are a really deep green. Um, and they're calling for Red Heart Classic on these. And some Krennic. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Here is some Easter cross ornaments for those of you who have an Easter tree. Here are Stars and Stripes Picnic Set. This is exactly what I was talking about. You could take one of these uh, Stars and Stripes patterns, say put a little blue over here and make like a flag. And then that would be something that you could put in those cups that I had mentioned. Here is an Uncle Sam teddy bear. How cute is that? That could be a wall hanging or you could do two-sided with an edge and do a doorstop. Um, Let Freedom Ring has little bells on it. You could hang it on your door and everything is stitched. Here is a Halloween Howler um, holiday holder for Easter candy. That's really cool. Again, look at the detail on his face. I like that with the the back stitching on that. Plastic canvas doesn't usually require any type of back stitching, but again, I, I'm an avid believer in back stitching. I think it pulls it all together. Um, here is a skeleton to hang in your door on your doorway. So cool. Here is a batty belfry. <laughs> okay, so you've got a vampire holding, it looks like maybe a pumpkin. Yes, a very odd looking pumpkin. And on his feet is dangling a bat with bells. I like that. That's cute. Uh, best witches. So we have three bears with three different colors on. It says, very best witches for a happy Halloween. And we've got a little spider with some webs. Um, I think that's supposed to be a cat, but it looks like, looks like a teddy bear. That's funny. Um, that's the smiley face for the pumpkin. So, let's see. Oh, and we even have a tissue. Now, you don't see those very often. You don't see Halloween tissue holders very often. It's called Halloween Silhouettes. Um, but I like that one. That one's, that one's pretty cool. You don't, like I said, you don't ever see Halloween tissue holders. Thankful Turkey Holiday Holder. This one is holding little candy corns. Um, again, a little, little Thanksgiving holder. Here is a Harvest Time bread basket. It's got a little turkey on the front. Again, maybe for Thanksgiving. That one. So 
sorry guys. Here is a Bluebird coaster set. Um, it's got little, you can see the little Bluebird. And then this is the front side. Oh, the book's starting to move on me. This is the front side of the holder. Uh, okay, we have candy cane holders. We have Santa Claus as a candy cane holder and a reindeer as a candy cane holder. And those would be really cute for classmates to give away classmate gifts for students or office. Uh, Bows of Holly placemat. Um, if you saw my tag, the recent tag video, it shows um, some plastic, plastic uh, canvas rolled up, 14 count. Pretty cool. Um, very loose. It was called vinyl fabric, I believe. But this would be perfect for that. But it looks like maybe, so I can't hold, I'm trying to hold everything at once. It looks like this has got, see the edges, they're rounded. This was not cut. This was pre-cut. This came this way with the edges already already edged off and formed. So you would buy this mat already in this shape or form. And then you would do the stitching on it. And then that would be your... That would be your placemat. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, it tells you to get an oval plastic canvas sheet. Um, I think you can get those still. I believe so, because I think I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. Snowy Brick Cottage. That looks like, that's a tissue box holder, it looks like. Mm, and this uses some Krennic. But mostly... No, no critic. I'm sorry. Uh, I was trying to read it. I apologize. Again, let me show you. This this is what it tells you. It gives you. It'll give you the color number if you're using plastic canvas yarn. But you can also use. Like I said, I use Red Heart. Some of it does call for Red Heart. This is Ho 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 door hanger. That is so cute. I like. Look at the detail on his face. I like that. And the hollies as well. And then there's little jingle bells at the bottom. Um, and then here is, ah, Rudolph's Magic. How cute is that? It's holding, um, it's holding holly and, and mistletoe and little pine cones. And there is a light bulb for his nose. There's a that's a music button, and it tells you step by step on how you can create that. That that's very festive. And here we have snowman for hire. Show me the snow. How cute! Again, the detail in his face. Very very festive. Um, you could use that as you could make a doorstop, or you could put it on your shelf, um, or on your front porch. That would be cute on a front porch. And I think. Nope, one more. We have Silent Night Nativity, and this is a tissue box. Oh, there's a glare, sorry. That's really cute, and you do that on all four sides. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so, again, that was uh, the Needle Shop Plastic Canvas Holiday. Number 846513. A lot of festive ideas on that one. I never cracked the spine on that one. And last but not least, we have the Plastic Canvas Stitch Dictionary. 113 different stitches where you can create your own. Your complete guide to making 113 stitches is by Leisure Arts. I like this. Um, see if you can see some of these stitches. It's really fascinating and again these can be used as cross stitches you can do this with floss um, and you can do this on regular fabric any count fabric you just adjust to the stitches that they offer 
and use whatever color you would like. Um, and this is just some ideas of what you can do with some of the stitches that it teaches you. Um, here's a tissue box holder. You just make the, the canvas, you just make one side, duplicate it four times, make a top and a bottom. Again, here's some ideas of what you can take some of those stitches and make create your own. Um, just get some graph paper and draw it out however you want to do it. Or you can just put needle in hand and just freehand it as you go. Look at some of the stitches that are um, in the book and you can just freehand. So you start to do this stitch, the long stitch, and you just start stitching the cross, and you think, oh, I'm going to fill it in a little bit. Oh, I like that. Oh, let's add this stitch. And you're pretty much making your own rainbow sampler um, with different stitches. Here is, um, it looks like a doorstop. Somebody did that, and you could put a brick. You could measure it to put around a brick, and there's your doorstop with the different stitches. This is a glass case or pencil holder, whatever you want to make make your own stitches. This is a wall hanging. Um, you would plastic canvas. I don't know if you can see that or not. No, it's not showing up good because it's really dark on the on the book as well. Um, you do your own plastic canvas loops, stitch it onto your runner. Um, and you can take several pieces of plastic canvas and piece them together. You do not have to have this size when you're doing plastic canvas. Plastic canvas can be um, stitched together to make a continuous piece, which is nice. Um, let's see. Okay, it takes you step by step. I really like this. We have the... Oligar eye stitch. Wait a minute. Al Algerian. I'm sorry. The Algerian eye stitch. The Algerian filling stitch. The Algerian pla pla plaited stitch. The Algerian star stitch. Again, uh, this can be done with plastic. Can I mean, this can be done with cross stitch. We have the Alicia, Alicia lace stitch. The arrowhead stitch. The Backstitch accent, backstitch general coverage. Can't really see that very well. Ooh, here we go. The bullion knot, brick stitch, basic brick stitch, brick stitch double. We have the Byz Byzantine stitch, uh, braided cross stitch, bared cross stitch, the Bargello, B-A-R-G-E-L-L-O. -L -L um, some of these named cashmere stitch. Some of these names I can't pronounce. Basic, condensed, the chevron, um, cross stitch, basic, cross stitch, altering, cross stitch, bound, cross stitch, diagonal upright. See what I'm talking about? Cross stitch double, uh, irregular long, long legged, cross stitch long leg, cross stitch Smyrna, cross stitch tied, cross stitch tied double, cross stitch triple, cross stitch upright, cross stitch round, wound. Um, yeah, so you get the idea. The eyelet stitch, uh, French knot, double French knots. Yeah. Um, just all these fantastic stitches in here. Leviathan stitch. And see, like I said, some of these are what we use in cross stitch for specialty stitches. But it's done on plastic canvas. This is the perfect way to practice on plastic canvas if you want to learn any of these new stitches that cross stitchers are doing. Um, yes, you can plastic, you can practice on your cross stitch material, but... I am going to highly recommend practicing with the oh, that's not good. There we go. The plastic canvas. Um, yeah, so look at this. See that neat? That's the rib wheel. Rib wheel stitch. Very pretty. So anyway, I'm not going to show you all those, but you get the idea. So, that's it for me. Um, I appreciate you watching. 
thank you all for subscribing and we will see you on the next go around of this was a stash video but i just went through it like like um like a book review but anyway so appreciate you watching I come back next week for another video uh, appreciate everybody subscribing to my channel and we will see you next week peace out